Good morning, Aaron. How are you doing today? Um, <clears throat> in this video, we are gonna continue our exercise, which uh, to edit product details. Okay. So, I create. If you follow my channel for this Node.js playlist, so every day I'm gonna create a new folder, uh, and. Um, I just uh, the starting code for of every day is yesterday's, uh, and yesterday I didn't make any videos, so it's gonna be uh, last Friday's uh, the end code, and this is that is gonna be the starting code of the day seven. Okay. Uh, also, the source code is in the GitHub repository, so you can uh, go to the description and find the link. Uh, let's let's start. Our uh, we trying to do yes here. I'm gonna add a edit button here. Okay, edit button, and then when I when we click, it we will see a uh, edit form, and we can change the value uh, edit form and with a predefined uh, pre uh, field value, which is the actual value for this uh, product. Then we can change and we can save successfully. Then we can see all the changes we made. So let's start. First, we go to the routes. Uh, sorry, go to the view. And uh, in the index EJS, which is a place we display all the products here. And uh, here we will do uh, the same thing as we did in the view details. Here we add another one called uh, edit product okay and here we will show edit and now since we add a URL or URL here then we have to have a route to handle that right so what we're gonna do is create a new uh, route handling method <clears throat> which is in our routes here we still go to the admin for the control we can do in the future so here the url is slash edit and the slash we still need to get the product id right and for this part we are gonna do in our admin admin controller admin controller so here I will export that admin uh, sorry, sorry, edit product page. Okay, and here and for this part, which is very very similar to uh to the <coughs> what to the view detail. So you can go actually you can just copy this thing. Okay. This is a product ID. And uh, this is gonna be defined in our admin, which is this one, okay, product ID, because this is this gonna be a placeholder to hold the actual product ID. And here we were using admin controller dot gate product edit product page, and then uh, in our admin controller we have to render res dot render, and we will render edit uh, product okay the EGS file and meanwhile we will give the product back to the EGS okay and here using zero okay and now what we're gonna do is we are gonna create a edit product this uh, EGS file Uh, here I want to do separate actually you can using the add product just to have a con uh, just to have a condition here which is a predefined which is to show the value if it's edit profile if it's not then we show nothing but I want to separate so the code is much clear okay uh, we kind of like a duplicated but uh, uh, it's much clear for the intention purpose so here we will give the value which is the one we get 
uh, we pass when we render, which is this one, right? Product, product equals product dot i product dot title, and we will do exactly same for others. Here we have to remove the value because the text area, area whatever you display between the text area, the opening and the uh, ending tag is gonna be the value. So here title, here is a price, and here is the image URL. Let me check the, it's actually the one we use in the model, okay, uh, image URL. And this one is the description, last one, okay. And another thing which uh, edit product and uh, the add product is different is edit product, they already have the product ID. But for the add product, it doesn't have a product ID because we generate it when we save. So here we have to send the product ID back. What we can do here, we are using uh, hidden fields, okay? And the name is ID, and the value is gonna be the same as we did before this part, okay? And here gonna be the ID. So after we done a little bit, we can do a test now, okay? So our project, I using Nodamoon to restart, our, auto restart our application. So we just go to the browser and then we go to add a product, add a product Node.js, image URL, very good. And submit. And here we see edit. When we click this one, we should expect to see the product uh, 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 edit form, right? And here say page not found. So let's take a look at what is the error, okay? So here, uh, I think you guys already know the error. It's the same as we add a product. In the app, when I uh, use the routes for the main, I have a slash of the main here. So here in our index, here I should add a slash of the main. Okay, it's gonna be slash, uh, sorry, start from app.js, slash admin, then go to our routes, edit the product. Okay, so let's do again. We have to go back, add a product, add a 11 and the image URL. Good, and the submit, and let's edit. Now it is say page title not defined. I think we have to define several as the problem we're facing uh, in uh, when we do the detail, right? We have to do some other thing, which is um, which is this part path and page page title. Okay, so we go to the controller and here we will add. The, sorry. Ooh, ooh, did I copy? Pay title, we're using slash, and here we're using edit product. So let's run one more time. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna run. Okay, so name, and uh, name, oh, this, oh, we need to have a name, okay. I want to remove that name. Let me remove that name, okay? Because otherwise, oh, no, let's just, just add. Otherwise, every time I have to add it here. Name, Tina, okay. Now let's go and refresh. Um, property ID is not defined. I think this one is because we don't have any product now. So let's add uh, one more time. Image URL description good because once we restart everything in the memory is gone and edit description 
Hey, what what did I wrote there? Go to edit. Ah, huh? when did I change this part? When did I change this part? This is gonna be description, right? Okay, so let's do. I think this time gonna work. Okay, go to our browser and we have to let's start from scratch not a js 15 okay image uil sam thank you and edit and now we see everything is in the form right okay perfect so now the now is if i change it here and I click this submit button it should save successfully in our database in this so far we just save in the in memory array so let's do it first we have to change here which is click on the edit product ejs file click submit it will go to our post method i'm gonna using the same url called edit product okay and uh, let's go back to our routes and here we will have a post which is edit product okay and this part we're gonna using the thing from our controller separation of concerns okay which one is exports edit product here i add a post okay this part and now we are gonna do is uh, we're gonna do is uh, uh first to get all the information about the product we using request data body we can get all the information right now let's create a new object using that one uh, product uh, edit product uh, let's use it updated product equals new product and here we were using request dot body dot id this id is for that hidden fields which is uh, this one okay id okay and we will get the remaining as we add dot id like dot body dot title and the request dot body dot image url okay let me check it's using capital or lowercase capital okay and then a request dot body dot uh what's the uh, price and the request dot body dot description okay so next step we want to do is uh, like this app dot update okay update call the update method then it will update successfully okay and then what we can do is res dot redirect we can redirect back to the home page or we can redirect back to the detail page okay so now what we are missing is uh, we don't have this update method okay so we go to product.js to create an update method here and uh, let's go back to the controller here when we call update we are calling on the instance of the object so it's not it's it's different from this case see here find by id is call on the product so find by id is a static method but update we are calling on a method on an instance so it's gonna be an instance method so we're gonna have update okay so here what i'm gonna do update is uh, here we are using an array okay i'm gonna find the index uh, i'm gonna find the index where is that uh, uh, product the original product located then i'm gonna replace that okay you have many other ways to do that i just want to go through the simple solution so here we have a const uh, product index equals the product start find index okay p p dot id equals equals this dot uh this dot id okay because now here we're using a uh, entire uh 
we, we call it we call it based on the product so this is gonna represent the updated product okay and now we we're gonna do yes using products and the edit product which will replace okay the index equals this okay and uh, now we are done the update and uh, we are done also the the edit product post which is actually edit our product then we go back to the slash okay and then last thing we have to do is in our routes to use that one edit product post okay so now everything is done let's go and test if it can it can update successfully so we go to add product because there are nothing here okay add product not a js this one is 11 image url this one is good and the submit and we go to edit and i change the title to be not a js uh to tall real okay price is just 112 and this one is this is a good tutorial okay submit it should redirect back to the home page submit it will go to the home page uh, something is not working here okay because you can see the price is using URL now so I think that might be the thing here let's take a look at the let's uh, let's take a look at on the right about the uh, about the uh, about what thing or should I say constructor so constructor here ID ID title title oh the second the third one should be the price so we have to re switch okay price image UI description okay now it should be good now okay Let's do one more time. Here's nothing. Okay. Let's do one more time. Title. Let's use analogies. Price 11. Image you are using same. This one using good. Submit. And go to edit. And we're using analogies tutorial. 11666. Very expensive. Okay. Very expensive. And click submit. And you will see everything has changed. And we didn't see the description, right? Let's go to view detail. Then you will see the description also updated successfully. And uh, suppose here, uh, let's do the last one. Suppose here you don't want to go, go back to the home page. You want to see the detail, right? So we can see, uh, view everything. What you can do is redirect. And we redirect back to the home to the edit the detail page let's go to see the detail page detail page url let's find out the detail page url this one is a detail page url right so we go to slash product slash slash product slash then we plus which is update the product dot id you can also using request body that id is gonna be the same okay so now uh after we update successfully it won't go to home page it will go to this page so let's take a look at add a product first knowledge price image you are click you submit and uh, detail so everything is as we did before go home and uh, edit and the tutorial one one five 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 very expensive good okay and I submit it will go to the detail page and which has everything we change it here okay so that's it for this video and uh, thank you for watching our next video gonna talk about how to delete a product okay so see you the source code is in the description you can find the link see you bye bye